Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. I'm the RN Genius, but you may call me Eric and we left off in the Anne Granger Fair case. In the last episode we um, we uh, examined the body of Sir Eustace Brackenstall. We also asked Lady Brackenstall about a couple of glasses. We did a bunch of stuff and at the end we got Toby, our little dog, and we ha ha had him follow the scent of the people who committed the murder. First, they took, went out of that door, went over into this hut, so we're going to examine that. I wish I could have done that sooner, but I couldn't. Now we're going to look at that. Nice this hook. hook might be useful. Hooks are always useful, especially for the well. Small gardening tools, nothing of great interest. Bags of seed. Some empty bags were recently moved. Huh? How do you know that? This old suitcase sounds hollow. It must be empty. All right, cool hollow suitcase. Let's uh, let's put that hook to good use here. I don't know. How we'll do that. Yep. There's something glittering at the bottom there. But how can I reach it? How about putting the hook, hook to good use? Wow, that was hard. Yeah. Oh, silverware! Silverware? This is hardly a coincidence. Cool stuff. The Brackenstall coat of arms. It appears that we have found the stolen silverware. Look at that. What kind of thief steals silverware and then throws it away? Huh. Robbery is the motive. Robbery is confirmed as the motive for the crime. The criminals may have plans to return for the silverware that they dumped. Yeah, right. Imitated robbery. The robbery could have been imitated to explain Sir Eustace's death. The silverware was not supposed to be found. Domestic violence. Only two people. Imitated robbery. Randall's plane. Poker blow lead to murderous visitor. Sir Eustace was mur murdered by the one person who was visiting that night. It was he who tied up Lady Bragginstall. He is tall and strong. Sailor background. Acquainted with a sailor. Look for sailor. The person who was visiting that night was probably a sailor. I'm gonna have to do that. Please continue the investigation. Okay, now examine that wall. The intruder's trail is lost behind this wall. Well, how do you look for a sailor? Well, how about asking those those uh, little kids again? I think that's viable. Of course, we have to ask Lady Brackenstall about the silverware as well. Wait, this is not going to lead anywhere. We don't have any leads about the sailor, so why would I look for him? Hmm. I'm going to try it out anyways. Just because I think I can. Can I call him up? Can I? Does this, this, this work? No? Okay. What should we do next, Holmes? We should ask Lady Brackenstall about the silverware. And sound really happy and naive too. Look, you're in luck. At least I found the silverware that was robbed from you. It's all gonna be good. We now have the goods, and next we're going to get the robbers. You don't have anything to worry about. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be golden. Hey yo. I found the stolen goods. Inspector, I have recovered the stolen silverware. You are a wizard, Mr. Holmes. And where is it? In the garden well. Excuse me? Unique, isn't it? 
Rather absurd. What is the point of stealing silverware and then throwing it down into a well? Perhaps it was used as a temporary hiding place, or simply the thieves wanted to get rid of it. It is up to us to solve this mystery. Well, I wouldn't call that a mystery. Lady Brackenstall, do you have any acquaintances in the in, at the harbor? You're in luck. We found your silverware, Lady Brackenstall. It had not been taken very far. Is that true? I am very thankful to you, Mr. Holmes. Hmm. Your ladyship. Hmm. That was... That was good acting. We found your mistress's silverware. Oh, that's good news. You really are as clever as they say. Indeed. Well? What next? Oh, read about that photograph note, Rock of Gibraltar. Search for possible sailor suspects. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna go across that entire front garden there. <clears throat> I'm used to going toward the door, pushing the left mouse button, and being booted to the map. But I can also just open the map and quick, fast travel from that point. It works. Should use that more often. Alright, no hiccups this place. We're gonna look about the rock of Gibraltar. 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 Nice spear, buddy. Oh, lovely. Did I actually put all those? Oh, that's a weapon. Do I put all my souvenirs up on the wall? Hmm. Who knows? Uh, rock of Gibraltar, 1893. East Africa, Bent Cliff, Rock of Gibraltar's arrival. Arrival of the Rock of Gibraltar ship return. The Rock of Gibraltar, a bulk carrier from the Adelaide Southampton London line, a Cunard building, James Street, London, Cunard building, James Street, London, has returned from a six months voyage through India, New Zealand, and Australia. The ship brought to England Miss Mary Fraser, the heiress to the Fraser oh, come on, family owning land and tin mines in Australia. This reportedly beautiful young lady is presently engaged to Sir Eustace Brackenstall, one of the wealthiest gentlemen in Kent. Here it is. Yep. Yep. So... Task of wi task for Wiggins, the address of the Rock of Gibraltar ship owner. We can find the crew list there. Wiggins. The shipping company, the Adelaide Southampton London line, and its address. Interesting. It must be the place where they keep the records, including the one for the crew of the Rock of Gibraltar. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard, they'll give it to you without any problems. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialist. But first I have to prepare myself a cup of tea. The specialist. It's time for the specialist. Wiggins. Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? Man, kids are useful. At your service, Mr. Holmes. I need a register, my young friend. If you could borrow it, there will be half a guinea for every one of you. I need the crew list of the Rock of Gibraltar in 1893 and their current employment. I'm straight on it, Mr. Holmes. Do you really think they'll find it, Holmes? 
My secret police is better than the odd in many ways. Three hours later. They are pretty good. Here it is, Mr. Holmes. But we can't take it back. It's too risky. Put it on the table. I'll take care of it. Good work, young Wiggins. You didn't even pay for it yet. I left it right on the table for you, sir. This list shows the senior officers of the Rock of Gibraltar, on which Lady Brackenstall and her maid made their voyage. Lady Brackenstall does not know anyone in England. This must mean that someone on this list is our mysterious visitor. And these are the lists of the senior officers of the Adelaide Southampton London Line ships. Let us find out who was in London upon November the 7th. Ah, uh, let's see, senior officers, blah, 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 names, departure from Adelaide, Australia on May 6th, arrival in London, England on November 12th, meaning, meaning this one is not. Ah, I do not want to skip that. I do not think that... Uh, let's do the second one. Arrival in London, England on Nove November 12th. So that's not going to be the one. Arrival in Adelaide, Australia. Departure from London on October... Nope. Departure from London, uh, uh, England on November 10th. Arrival in Adelaide. Ah, hello. So we have Jack Crockner, Duncan Chalmers, Peter Davison, Jack Crockner. Mr. Jack Crocker was in Crocker. London upon the date of the crime, and he is due to depart in two days. Who else? Chalmers, no. Davison, no. Harkis, no. Stewart, no. Willick, Hooper, no. Okay, departure on October, arrival on March 2nd. Nah. Well, what else? Departure, arrival. Archibald, all this right. This list shows the senior officers of the Rock of Gibraltar, on which... I get it. That's the murder date. Well, wasn't that the only one that's available? From May 6th? to November 12th. These weren't around. From October 17th to January, these were not around. Departure November 10th, May 17th. Okay, let's look again. Jack Crocker is in there. We have Chill. Is there a Chill in here? Don't see one. We have Southward. Don't remember a Southward. Woods Walker. Woods and Walker, Whittington and Partledge, Whittington and Partledge. What am I missing? The Bass Rock. This list. Sh and we have departure on October twenty third. Twenty third. What's that? That's a mistake. Twenty third. Great. Arrival in London. Are we looking for just names that we have as well that we can cross off this list? Because Whittington is... This officer is still at sea. Therefore, he cannot be involved. Ah, we're supposed to do that as well. We're supposed to cross him off. Uh, ba -da -ba -da, southward. This officer is still at sea. Therefore, he cannot be involved. Woods. This officer is still at sea. Therefore, he cannot be involved. Burr, 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 Hawkins, Partledge. This officer was on a ship that sailed half a month ago. He wasn't in London at the time of the crime. Chill. This officer was on a ship that sailed half a month ago. He wasn't in London at the time of the crime. So we're down to, to one. Where's Walker? 
I didn't see a walker. There he is. This officer is still at sea, therefore he cannot be involved. Captain Jack Crocker is our mysterious visitor. He was the only one around at the time of the murder. Oh boy, he's gonna get it. This Crocker, do you think... It would be interesting to meet him. Our young friend should be able to find him. Wiggins, could you find a way to bring this Captain Crocker here to us? Here? Holmes, that could be dangerous. No problem, Mr. Holmes. Sometime later. Mr. Holmes, I was informed that you were looking for me, and I'd like to know why. Yes, it is important that we talk. You will soon understand why. Let's look at you. You're a captain. You wear a nice hat. Well, well the hat doesn't say anything. Clear look. Honest. What? Well, he's got a sick beard. Strong build. I don't know how you see that through the, all his clothes. Got a nice belt. Sailor's hands. You got some bruises there. I don't know. Evidently not so much. No, evidently not so much. Sick crotch too. Newspaper ink. Huh. Yeah, there's a bunch of dirt on this, but I guess he's a sailor. Clean boots. And a sharp knife. You are acquainted with Lady Mary Brackenstall, are you not? Yes, I think I do remember her from when I was first officer, but I still don't see... It seems your relationship went beyond that of mere passenger and first officer. How dare you? Indeed, how reckless a feeling is love, particularly if one is prepared to commit a murder in its name. Explain yourself this instant. You are aware that the murder made the headlines of the morning press. You read the newspaper report, but to your dismay found it much fabricated. Once you learned that I wanted to see you, you came straight away. You needed to know what I had found. You... and what do you know? That evening, you were with Lady Brackenstall, despite the danger. I'm not afraid, Mr. Holmes. Besides, all of this is just guesswork. You would be right, if there was no evidence. What then? Lady Brackenstall was tied to a chair on the night of the murder. And it was you who tied her up. You call that evidence? <laughs> Sailor's nuts? Well, that's not evidence, but... Well. Yes, as she was tied with a sailor's knot. Your handiwork. So, it's a sailor who's done it. That proves nothing, Mr. Holmes. I'm not the only sailor in London right now. Your theory is flawed, anyway. On the night of the murder, I was aboard the Sharp. I was supervising the repair of a porthole. At night? It was an emergency. There was a leak. You can ask the ship's carpenter. He can confirm. I'm sure that he can. Perfect. In that case, we have nothing more to talk about. Good evening, gentlemen. Holmes, what should we do now? Would you like to check his alibi? No. There is no doubt that these men will testify in his favor, and there will be no way to check. So, what then? So, we must work with what we have. We have all the puzzle pieces. 
Now I understand why you dissected the bell rope. Do you? Crocker's statement, Captain Crocker. And we have Crocker's involvement. Crocker's lying. His involvement is clear. He appeared as soon as he heard that I was looking for him, thus signaling his guilt. Crocker's alibi. Cro Captain Crocker was aboard the Sharp on the night of the murder. He was not afraid to confront me. He had a confident demeanor. Yeah. The captain is the killer. We don't have any clues remaining. You have found all and utilized all clues in the case. Please proceed to the deduction space from your conclusion. I'm pretty confident that this is uh, what we're looking for. So Eustace was murdered by one person who was visiting that night. The murderer is tall and agile and a high-ranking sailor. I first wanna, I first wanna talk to Lady Brackenstall. Do we, do we have anything to talk about? No. Like I first, after talking to her, I will be able to, uh, to get Sir or get um, Captain Crocker. Give him my judgment. Can you say it like that? Give him my judgment? That's weird. I guess I'll make the judgment after I talk to her, but she's not going to want to talk to me. I mean, he's her lover. Doesn't she want to protect him? Oh, what a horrible thing to have happened. Not that horrible, honestly. Wasn't been that big a loss. Fear. The captain is a killer. So Eustace was murdered by one person who was visiting that night. The murderer is tall and agile and a high-ranking sailor. Absolve Captain Crocker. The murderer was committed in self-defense. Captain Crocker defended a woman against a violent and dis dipsomaniacal man. The mystery is solved, but you decide to keep it secret. There is no need to inform the police. Jack Crocker is a murderer, and you will bring him to his and his accomplice, Lady Brackenstall, to justice. No, I won't. No, I won't. I'm not a real detective. I'm just a guy. I'm just some guy. I can make this judgment call. Let's not be a dig here. I mean, that, that drunkard was a real piece of work. I mean... It was, it was, like, I should admit, it's, it's definitely Lady Brackenstall's fa fa fault for, for marrying that asshole. Like, she should have known. She should have known way better than that. She was just going for the money, but, um, well, this is a video game, so why doesn't she just end up murdering him? She should have done a better job at murdering him, though. Wiggins, could you ask Mr. Crocker to come here again, please? Right away. Barely an hour has passed. Why did you make me come here again, Mr. Holmes? It is over. I know that it was you who killed Sir Eustace Brackenstall. What? I know because of the height at which the rope was cut. The knife used was a sea knife. The knots were sailor's knots. And not least, the sheer force that was put behind the killing blow. And because you are the only one who knows Lady Mary Brackenstall in London. And because you love her. It's true. It is time for you to tell us the whole truth. I admit that I loved Mary madly from the first day that I met her. But I never did come to visit her. For I believed that she was in a happy household. When I talked to her maid, who told me everything, I was insane with rage. I was due to set sail for six months away. I wanted only to see her again. But it turned into a damnable nightmare when he barged in. He dared raise his hand to her. He! He was not even worthy of licking her boots. Oh, I regret nothing. I admit I killed the monster out of love for her. She will forgive me if she is able. Lady Brackenstall already forgave you. She said nothing. Mary! 
but that makes her an accomplice as well as her maid. It places her in danger yet again. Mr. Holmes. You would not have managed to protect her. Till I die, do you hear me? Here is a letter that sets everything clear, and it is the one that should be disclosed to the police. I am the only culprit. Mary had nothing to do with it. Now it is time to end this. What? Dude. Dude, 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 Oh no, that's the wrong button. Don't shoot yourself. No, 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 no. Hold your herrings, Captain. Please forgive me, Captain Crocker. I wished only to test your sincerity, and your words and deeds have far exceeded my expectations. See here, Captain Crocker. We'll do this in due form of law. You are the prisoner. Watson, you are a British jury. Captain Crocker, the evidence shows that you acted without premeditation and used reasonable force to protect an innocent victim from her husband's brutality. Your devotion pushed you to attempt to kill yourself in order to protect the one you love. Now, what say you, gentlemen of the jury? Not guilty, my lord. Vox populi, vox dei. You are acquitted, Captain Crocker. So long as the law does not find some other victim, you are safe from me. Mr. Holmes. It is a great responsibility that I take upon myself, but I will give Lestrade an excellent lead, and if he can't avail himself of it, I can do no more. Come back to your lady in a year, and may her future and yours justify us in the judgment which we have pronounced this night. Inspector, I'm afraid that the murderers have escaped us. What? Do you mean to tell me that you failed? Never thought I'd live to see the day. I mentioned the murderers, not the case. It is obvious that the crime was committed by three criminals who cannot be the Randalls. You really think so? You only need to find a gang of three thugs wandering around. I can trust you to do that. If they exist, I'll catch them. You'll find someone, I have no doubt of it. Goodbye, Inspector. Wow, slick. That is all clues and the captain is the killer. Sir Eustace Randall was Sir Eustace was murdered by Captain Jack Crocker, who was visiting Lady Brackenstall that night. They staged it as a robbery by the Randall gang. Crocker used his sea knife to cut the bell rope to tie the lady and then hit the silverware in the well. Jack Crocker defended a woman against a violent dis dipzomaniacal man. You have decided to keep it a secret. Yes, I have. All right, I will accept that decision. And I'll have to do this now because I want to end the recording session right after this. I just wanted to finish the case, honestly, but we're going to see what the next case has and check for us. Personality ranking, commiserative. All right, 93% of the people solved the case the same way. This was easy. People made the same moral choice. Only two thirds. Well, if I was a real detective, of course I wouldn't let this guy go, because, like, if you do it once, you you might actually do it two times as well, and I don't want to have any guy running around committing murders. There's better ways than doing this, but, um, well, it's a video game. What am I going to do? I'm not going to be the dick. It changes nothing. Vox Populi, Vox Dei. The Q Gardens drama. I hope you know what Vox Populi Vox Dei means. Holmes, for heaven's sake, whatever's going on? Oh, hello, Watson. You're early. Did you kill all of your patients? What? Holmes? Where have all these wretched bees come from? Don't hit them. I increased the temperature of the room so as to prevent them from hibernating. I needed to take a sample of honey. But it worked, Watson. 
We will have honey all year round. Ridiculous and dangerous. They're domestic bees. Apis mellifera, such industrious workers. Anyway, Watson, I am sorry, but I must leave you. I'm in rather a hurry. You have a new case? Yes, but nothing as thrilling as this experiment. A theft of plants at the Royal Botanic Gardens in Kew. I'm helping a minister who's an old friend of mine. You can join me if you like. Well, I'll admit that I'd far rather accompany you than remain alone here with these workers of yours. Besides, you'll need a helping hand with the flowers you're intending to bring back. Watson, however did you guess? For the great Sherlock Holmes to bother with the theft of plants. Come on, admit that you're planning to spoil your little bees with some rare pollens. <laughs> Since when did I become so transparent? Let us go. I wonder what the poor dog thinks about this situation. All right, bees. There's, there's not that many bees here, huh? Oh well, for the moment I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Until then, bye-bye.